Hello everyone, welcome again in this demo. I'm going to show you demonstration of uh, transport management project in a Spring Boot and Avanit. So if I talk about the backend, so if you look for the backend, we are using Spring Boot and uh, JP and Avanit uh, to store the information into the database. And I'm going to show you the packages over here. So we have the root package as a con transport and the configuration controllers are there, DAOs layer is there exception form services for the front end you are using jsp so <coughs> you are aware with the jsp wedges over here so the project is running <coughs> in case you are new and you have tagged the tech and already bought this project from the code one and you want to run it so how can you run it after setup like we will provide the complete configuration at your machine in case you have bought this project from code one and then you will get the project in this state after that you need to follow uh, this demo and steps to operate the application so this is your runner class so right click on this go to run as run it as a java application it will start a server tomcat server and give you a specific port number to run the application <clears throat> meanwhile the application is running and you will see some console logs in here in a while and you need to verify one message over here so the message something like uh, Tomcat is started on a specific port number. So let's keep it going. <clears throat> hey, okay, see, you can see the Tomcat is started on the port number 800. After that, just open the resources file. Here, your configuration file, application.property file. Here, we have created a dummy URL. So just copy this URL. In case you change any port number, then you have to update the URL port number as well. Open your browser, enter that URL, and the application will launch. Okay, uh, after that, uh, we have a database over here. So we are using uh, MySQL database. Okay, so to store the information, to store the backend information, we are using MySQL database. So this is database, it contains tables, assign driver, booking, club, and transport and user. There are three types of user. The first is admin, driver, and the customer. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the step by step uh, how the things are working over there. So when you launch the application, it will redirect you over the home page, and this is the home page how it looks like. So there's a welcome message in the ground, and the footer section is there. Now um, we have two options here. One option is the sign up. So when you click on the sign up, it will open the registration form. You can sign up as an admin driver or customer so let's say i'm going to pick a, i'm going to sign up as a customer i submit the form when i submit the form if i check my database currently there is nine record when i refresh it it will show me the next record as a thing okay a six record because the id is started from the four so the customer is logged into the application similarly you can register as a new user admin or driver now when i go to the login and First, I will log in as an admin, then we'll log in as a driver, and then we'll log in as a um, next uh, customer. So I just hit uh, enter the username and password for my admin user. And okay, after admin, what admin can do? Admin can add a new user. Similarly, admin can check the user list. So whatever the data is available into the, it can be driver, it can be other admin, it can be a customer. So admin can have access of all the users. Admin have all the rights to edit that record. So in order to edit, just uh, right click here on this edit icon. Let's say I want to update uh, the name of this first name of this customer. And I click on the update. It says user updated successfully. When I go here under user list, you can see the first name is updated now. If you want to delete any record, let's say I want to delete this record, so I can delete it. Uh, I just need to click on this icon and it says user deleted successfully. I'm going to add a new driver as well. So let's say new driver <coughs> or I say L name means last name. You can enter the last name and DOB of this driver. So here we have a calendar. So you can select any date, any previous date from this. And you can select the gender, ID, let's say new D, that is gmail.com. And the password, you can keep any password as per your requirement. And the contact number. 
and select here a more type so i'm going to register as a driver when i register as a driver now you will see a new record under the driver section so this is the user module okay let's come to the transport module and a user or uh, like this uh, admin can add a new transport let's say i'm going to add a transport here i need to enter the transport name uh transport name so it it, it means a uh, um, vehicle uh, vehicle uh, name so let's say i'm going to give it a large truck or anything you want to give it like it's a it's, it's a dynamic thing so you can enter the data as per your requirement so i say let's say large truck and the registration number let's say this is my registration number and the capacity the storage capacity of this vehicle so let's say 500 ton and price per hour for, for this uh, let's say i'm going to give it a five, 500 bucks and i can select the category let's say it's a truck and choose an image so i need to search for the image let's say i'm just adding the dummy image as a card and uh, yeah let's click on the submit so transport edit successfully and i go and check the transport list i can check the list the newly added transport also if you notice here under the booking status column uh, we have this status new status is available for the new transport vehicle but uh, this vehicle is booked currently so it's showing not available and market available so i may have access to market available as well also i can edit it as an admin by clicking on this and if i want to delete it i can click on this delete icon it will be deleted uh, from the database if this booking option for the customer so i will show you i will be logging as a customer so customer can book this trucks over here okay here i have an option to view the driver list so here only driver will be displayed to the admin if admin wants to edit or delete those driver they can do by clicking on this icon here we have a new feature as an assigned driver. So let's say we have added this truck. Okay, recently we have added this truck, and here we have a new driver. So I want to assign that truck to this driver and click on the submit. So it's a driver is assigned successfully. So now if I go here and check the list, so it will be still available. And into this driver list, if I check here. can check the list of this driver as well so okay let me go to the assign again if i am going to try that same uh truck to any driver it will say the driver or truck is already assigned let's say i want to assign any other truck to any other uh to that driver then it will say again it will show the error message it means there are a proper validation that you can't assign it duplicates okay so only one driver can be assigned to a single truck okay under the booking history section you will see the booking options and you have different options to cancel it so if you want as an admin you can cancel any record after assign transport you will see here the driver name or the vehicle number so these drivers are assigned to this vehicle number so it's showing that history Apart from that, we have a view profile. From here, admin can update its own profile and click on the power. So from the admin side is done. Now I'm going to log in as a customer and see what our customer can do over there. So quickly, I'm going to log in as a customer. So let's say I've deleted that customer. So let's register as a new customer or we can also use this existing customer here. So I'm going to use this one. So I just uh, enter the username no and i'm going to get the sign in and here i can check the transport list first and my booking history so i have one booking over there so here when i go currently it's showing available so these three are available so let's say i'm going to book it so i'm going to book this transport and it's showing the all the details and these fields are disabled so customer cannot check it's coming from the station side and so this is the transport that i'm going to book the truck number and let's say i'm going to book it for the five years when i submit it it will redirect me over the pay, uh, payment page and here we have total price and here let's say i'm going to give our card number 
contact number and this is just a dummy page uh, i'm going to click on the payment done it's, it's 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 just a dummy payment so payment is done and if i see my booking history the new record will be there if i want to cancel it i can give a cancellation also so record will be currently the status is booked for five hours but if i'm going to cancel it it will update the status of the cancel okay again and now if i'm going to book this it's showing not available okay so i'm i i really can't book it again okay and uh, again after that we have view profile and log out now i'm going to log in quickly as a, a driver and from the driver side as well driver let's say a driver is assigned to some truck so driver can check that assign uh, assign things over there so i'm just going to log in with this driver this newly added driver and this will check assign trucks so to this driver we have assigned this uh, this vehicle okay apart from that logout is there so that's it about the transport manage where uh, after management where admin can add the multiple vehicles and uh, admin can like add the drivers it can manage the drivers users and different operations are there the crude operations are there where somewhere we are cancelling the records we are adding the validations over there so uh, apart from that it's using proper uh, like standards to development so if you want the source code you can connect us over the words of the skype or mail and the source code will be available at your machine and will help you to set up the project at your machine for that we need access and we'll do the complete uh, setup at your machine as well and after configuration we will make sure our team will make sure it's working same as source and this demo thank you